In the previous movie, when I was talking about the brand new vibrance effect, I mentioned that many users use saturation, crank it down to minus 100, and that's a quick way of creating a black and white image. Well, it's quick and easy, but it's not necessarily the best or most refined way to create a black and white image. Well, now we have a new effect to do that. Delete vibrance, and I'll apply effect, color correction, black and white. This is another effect brought from Photoshop, and I'm really glad they brought in After Effects. It gives you individual control over not only the red, green, and blue components of an image, but also the yellows, the cyans, and the magentas. People who are more involved in the print world are more used to those colors. And if you want to see how they relate, basically red plus blue is magenta. Blue plus green is cyan. Green plus red is yellow. So it's a way of dealing with the intermediate colors instead of just dealing with the primaries. It gives you a default mix, which kind of creates a luminance mix for this image, but you can really get in and fine tune. For example, with a standard RGB color mixer, you might only have access to the reds, greens, and blues. If I want to play around with the red component of this rock, we see red brings down virtually all the rocks together or increases all the rocks together. But if I use the adjacent color like magentas, you'll see I have control now over just shadowed areas which are related to red, as opposed to bringing down all the reds together. Very handy. Similarly, we have some blue tint up in the sky. I'll turn the effect off for now to remind you what this looked like. And you might be tempted just to say, let's alter the blue content of that sky. Well, if I pulled it out, you'll see that actually what I consider to be my sky is staying white. I'm not really adjusting it the way I want to. Well, skies are actually closer to cyan in color. And if I pull cyan out, you'll now see that I'm increasing that gradient up in the high part of the sky. This is where it started. And now I'm actually affecting that fall off in the sky from the blue sky to the white horizon. So it gives you a much more subtle way of mixing individual color components to create that ideal black and white image from your source. It also has a handy little tint command. This appears in other effects where you can just quickly tint footage as well. You create your idealized black and white version, then give it a color tint. Nice little effect.